Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's a five minute book review. And remember, before we get started, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so... We're still in Garb August. Yes, shh, she's sleeping. Shh. I don't want to wake her. Um, and I was doing a lot of paperwork, cleanup, that kind of stuff. And I needed something to accompany my day. So I hunted down. I hunted down. Yeah, that's a good little segue. I hunted down a nice little werewolf book. One that I've been meaning to read for a super long time because this actually is one of my favorite werewolf movies pretty much of all time. Yeah. So the book I'm talking about is The Howling by Gary Brander. Oh my gosh. This was a trip down memory lane. Now, since I was doing paperwork and everything, of course I had the audiobook. It was five hours long and I didn't increase the speed or anything like that. I just kept it flowing. It was so enjoyable. Different from the movie. Okay, let's get that clear. There's elements that are the same, but there's elements that are completely different. Um, so we have the husband and wife live in LA. There's a traumatic experience that happens to her. Um, and the husband suggests that they go away. Um, for a little retreat, whatever. So they, I'm not going to give it all away because a lot of you youngins, a lot of you youngins that I see out there, you've never seen The Howling and you need to because it's that good. So they go to this town where there are some legends and folklore and stuff like that. And there are some big creatures that are making their way through. There is just this strange howling in the distance Man, I wonder what that could be. Whew, Lord, Lord. The one thing about this book. <gasps> it's juicy and it's good. That's all I'm saying. So, um, really well done. Really well done. Okay. <laughs> I made some notes. <gasps> I made a little werewolf in my notes too. Wee! See him? Rawr. Okay. <laughs> So, um, this was published in 1977. This is one of, this is one of three. Um, there's three books. There's, it's a trilogy. I honestly think there's seven films, seven or eight films. And I looked last night and one of the films they just remade, like, I don't know, maybe in the nineties or something. And it looks like somebody filmed it in their, in their backyard. Not, not what I remember. You need to get the D Williams. Is it D. Williams? D. D. was America's sweetheart before Jennifer Aniston. Bottom line. She was the mom in E.T. Um, she has some other pretty big roles, but, uh, oh, she was the mom in Cujo too. But E.T. is pretty much what she's known for, but, um, just, just America's sweetheart type actress for sure. Okay. So these are the key words that I wrote down. <laughs> Werewolf relationships. Marsha, 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 uh, Marsha, sex, sex, um, pack, silver bullets, transitioning, lichen, yeah. So was the book perfect? No, it wasn't. Honestly, this year, I have had so much fun reading werewolf books like I need to read more and I know a lot of you gave me a ton of great suggestions and I'm going to look those up but it, they're just I don't know what it is about it it's just fun is it the outdoors that I like is it the howling at the moon I don't know I don't know so yeah two of my all-time favorite films are the howling and then second would be an American werewolf in Paris no not Paris London Paris was after that. The London. London was the first one. And ironically, they both came out the same year. Both were in 1981. And I was nine. <laughs> I was a very adventurous nine-year-old. I remember seeing The Howling. 
it was on like it was on like syndication Sunday TV. So they cut out all the good stuff and they just left like chunks out and you had to like put kind of put two and two together or they would raise the camera angle so you couldn't see what was going on down here but you could see what was going on up here you know how the tricks that they did in the 80s but i'll tell you what the book five hours phenomenal i'm not sure who read the audiobook i found this on scribd scribd chef's kiss love you love you love you scribd always comes through for me in a pinch when i'm looking for something quick something awesome, something devilish, something like that. So just something good. It always comes through for me in the pinch. Highly recommend it. Um, if you're ever going to go and get an online service like that, it's wonderful. I don't have an affiliate, affiliate link or anything like that, but I should really look into it because I talk about script all the time. So yes. Are there flaws in the book? Yes, because it's kind of predictable and you kind of know what's going to happen. But there is a lot of tension buildup and there's a lot of stress in relationships. And you hear the relationship between Roy and Karen. They're the married couple. And Roy is taken by this beauty named Marsha. And what's up with Marsha? We will find out. But uh, yeah, he, yeah, boys will enjoy that. Also, it's written in that time. So there's a lot of patronizing of women's issues. And, um, you know, oh, honey, here, take these pills and you'll feel better. And you'll forget about all the bad things that happen. Whatever. Uh, so there, there's a bit of that, too. There's not a lot of strong female characters besides Marsha. Marsha owns her existence in whatever existence that is. And she is a force. She's a force to be reckoned with people. Yeah. Um, so honestly, if you were looking for another werewolf read, if my first two that I read this year, which was such sharp teeth, then we did wolf moon. Now we're doing the howling. Mm -hmm. Wolfen. Wolfen is in that category too. Now Wolfen, to me, do I have Wolfen? Yes. The Wolfen. <clears throat> Wolfen to me is not a werewolf book. This is, this is a dire wolf book. This is about wolves, not people turning into wolves. So this is kind of in a class of its own. This is like its own different thing. Um, this is, this is, ancient this is archaic this is um an ancient force this these are ancient animals that have this mm, just mystery and strength and sexiness to them but they don't turn into people but yeah that's like the wolf that's like the wolf trifecta when i was a kid it was wolfen saw that one on tv then it was the howling saw that one on tv and then finally it was american werewolf in london and like american werewolf in london was the hardest one to find because it was so popular and there were so many awards behind it and the special effects and all that i actually appreciate not to go on the movie tangent and we're over i'm sorry if we're over five minutes i'm sorry i'm sorry but i just can't stop talking about wolves um the special effects in the howling i think are better than an American werewolf in London. There's something about it that like their face bubbles and everything. Like it's honestly creepy. It's honestly creepy. And it's the old school um, prosthetics. It's the old school style. It, it's nothing CGI. This is way before CGI. So kids, adults, if you've never seen The Howling and you want to get a good movie on, and it, it's kind of campy in parts if, if from what I remember correctly. I couldn't find it. I know it's on Shudder. I know it's on another a number of services that you can rent, but there's nothing for free out there. Um, you just have to, you know how they rotate movies, you just kind of have to keep your feelers out for it. But it's just really, really good. So um, that's my recommendation. And I gave Wolfen, or no, I not Wolfen, I gave The Howling four stars because the audiobook translated super well. I was right there with them. I felt the tension all the way up until the end and the character, the characters all stood out. So bravo, uh, really, really well done. Thank you, Scribd. Okay, that is it here for me, everyone. Get your wolf on. Arroo. 
All right, that's it here from me. I hope you are all doing well. Make sure that you take care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see... What? Yeah, MJ, Um, uh, you need to move because I'm going to come in and do a review now. There's going to be another review coming up. Carl Bogostina is tapping her fingers at me. She wants to talk about a different book. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye for now. <laughs>